So Melanie L. Carlson, are you there? Yes, thanks so much for having me. Thank you so much. And we've been having such a great conversation before we even got started. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to the show. Before we get into the octopus and Danny Castellaro and all that stuff, tell us, who is Melanie L. Carlson? Yeah, so I'm a trained social worker. I have my master's in social work. And I spent a lot of time working in the field of domestic and sexual violence. Hmm. And I spent five and a half years in a PhD program and fizzled out. And so during that time, uh, the Free Britney movement started. So I started looking into that from a family violence, mental health stigma perspective. And then I quickly started identifying um, so many suspicious things about her case. Lots of uh, tax evasion charges and mafia associates and being uh, her security being a part of the Mossad. And so quickly I realized that this wasn't merely a case of a low class family uh, commandeering a internationally known pop star's life, but it was really orchestrated by the billionaire class because they felt she was too famous to quit. And so in that investigation, I identified that Live Nation Ticketmaster was the heart of her conservatorship and the monetization of it. Her manager um, merged his company with Live Nation the same year they merged with Ticketmaster. They did, of course, her promotion and ticketing and partnered with Caesars for her Vegas residency. And then that resulted in me looking into MCA, which in so many ways, uh, Live Nation Ticketmaster is just the transformed version of a contemporary MCA. And so when the Octopus Murders came out, I thought it was very unusual that MCA was not to be found in the filmmaker's construction of the narrative. 